Building out detailed vehicle models can be a time-consuming process. In addition to gathering all of the data needed to properly model your components, you also need to build and configure a model to use the data. Starting in MATLAB R2022A, you can use the Virtual Vehicle Composer app to configure and build a virtual vehicle that you can use for system level performance analysis. You can use the app to quickly enter your vehicle parameter data, build a virtual vehicle model, run test scenarios, and analyze the results. When you open the Virtual Vehicle Composer, you can create a new project and choose the powertrain layout of your vehicle. As you change powertrain configurations, the diagram will update to indicate how the model will be mechanically and electrically coupled. You can also choose whether your plant model is built using powertrain block set or simscape components, and what level of vehicle dynamics you would like to model. For powertrain studies, you can keep the model limited to longitudinal dynamics, or you can include lateral dynamics in addition to the longitudinal. When you create a new vehicle project in the app, a MATLAB project will be generated in a selected folder that will serve as the core of our model later on. After selecting the powertrain layout and model templates, the data and calibration tab is where we can enter all of the data that we have on our components and configure some additional details based on the model setup. For many components, there's a selection of default values that we can choose between before customizing to match our vehicle components. For example, there are a few options we can choose as starting values for our tire model that correspond to some common tire sizes. For the combustion engines and electric motors in your powertrain, the Virtual Vehicle Composer can help you resize an existing model based on data you may have for an existing component. You can use this to examine component sizing in your model without needing data for each option you are considering. You can choose to scale based on core parameters like the electric motor torque and power, but you can also choose to scale the engine component based on the displacement. After setting up our model parameters, we can choose to set a test plan for our model that includes multiple simulations across different drive cycles. We can do this by opening the scenario and test tab and choosing the scenario that we want to run in our model from the dropdown. We can also pre-configure our model to log signals that we want to use for analysis later by selecting them in the Logging tab under the Signal list. After configuring our logging and our test plan, we can build the model using the button at the top of the tool strip. This will configure our final model for us and export it to a new Simulink file that we can build off of and customize. As we explore the generated model, we can drill down into the subsystems and examine how each component model is constructed. This also means that we can alter or even outright replace any component model with one of our choice, or introduce new variants of our models to meet our modeling goals. Virtual Vehicle Composer app provides a streamlined way to start building a full vehicle model that you can customize to suit your applications.